Thank you for 999 plus subscribers. Whatever the number is right now, I have no idea. Okay, so this is a Villithos channel direct. I don't know what the title of this thing will be, should be, I have no idea. But look at this as a channel update, okay? I, it was. It is absolutely necessary that I'm going to tell you, it is absolutely necessary to tell you about what the hell is going on on this channel, uh, what is planned, what's going to come out, what not, whatsoever. Uh, and I, I, I know about that, but I haven't, I haven't, you know, been able to do that yet. So uh, here, here we go. Like this is this is your direct. I hope you actually watch it, uh, at least for the most important bits. So let's let's get into it, and let's actually look at my very bad uh, JPEG PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so what we're gonna talk about? So from one to five, I say you should definitely listen. Okay, just take a little bit of time for that. You only have to do. You only have to watch and look at my weird ass uh, face of a human being uh, once. Uh, six and seven, you don't have to. Uh, you have to don't. You have to. You don't have to listen to that. That's really just bonus. And me rambling about a bunch of stuff. Okay. Um, so uh, number one topic. Uh, the number one topic probably that everybody is asking me. Not well, everybody, but a lot of people in my comment sections of the Mount Center Weapon Guides is uh will there be more monster hunter weapon guides will there be huh i wonder well you have to have to have to wait until i talk about it uh, then we have um new content wow oh my god new content that's not real villithos is making new content it's not that's not real that's not real. That, that's that's fake somebody put that in there i, I don't know um uh, the new content is going to be called Hauntology. Uh, so if that doesn't pique your interest, then I don't know what will. So number three is I am Villithos. I have a new name. Okay. Uh, now, the obvious question here and the topic will be why it was time for a new name. Number four, something about being an artist. That's very specific, but, you know, I have to talk about it a little bit because it gives you a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a thought uh, about my existence, at least, and what's what you can expect from the channel whatsoever, which goes directly no into number five, which is going to be new content. Wow, even more new content. Uh, training arc, okay? Now, I don't want to hype you up for new content uh, a lot, okay? I really don't because... <laughs> All of this stuff, take it with a huge grain of salt, okay? Everything that I say in the Villithos channel direct, whatever it's going to be called, uh, these are plans. And plans are plans, not promises, okay? I do not do promises. I, I generally, generally don't do them because uh, if you break a promise, people are going to be mad about it. But what I, what I can tell you is, these are my plans. I'm going to share them. I'm going to share them with you. Um, if they go wrong, they go wrong, and I have to adjust them. I have to make a new plan, and that's how it is, right? So we're not we're not doing promises here. Okay. Now num number six and number seven, as I already said, they're not that important. But I do want to cover them right now, so you're aware. Uh, I'm just going to talk a, a little bit about nostalgia. Okay, it's just a little bit of nostalgia that I'm going to put in there. Uh, and number seven, it's just generally just talking about Monster Hunter, role-playing, and my absolutely amazing backlog of video games. Okay, so let's keep it, let's keep it up. All right, here we go. So the biggest question that everybody's asking me is, will there be more weapon guides? So here's the list. You can look at it, pause the video look through it um, of course i'm going to talk about it i'm going to give you a little bit of insight on every single one of these um try i'll try to make it short but you know it's it's probably going to be a little bit longer so yes there will be more monster Hunter weapon guides but guides are not my focus right now okay so generally my focus is just all over the place there's too many things that i want to do too many things that i have to learn 
too many things that are that I need to juggle back and forth, up and down, left and right, and through other 12 dimensions I did I don't know even existed. Um, it's really hard to just say, okay, I'm gonna just make weapon guides. Because, uh, you know, there are things that I have to deal with, which is, you know, that it's just universe things, okay? Reality might even. So that is the first part. Next one is... In all of that, I can confidently say, even though that weapon guides are not my focus right now, with Monster Hunter 6, new guides will be in the works, okay? I don't know when Monster Hunter 6 comes out. I have no idea, obviously. Um, but when Monster Hunter 6 is going to come out, then, of course, I'm going to start working on new guides. The issue that I, The issue that I have with that is that I cannot tell you when it is so and I cannot predict that so generally just you know if if monster Hunter 6 is being announced and there is somebody says or there's somebody somebody or they announce that there's going to be a demo then with the demo alone I'm already going to go into uh into the demo and already going to research a bunch of things so I can later uh, put that into uh, into the into uh, video guides for for uh, sorry for weapon guides uh, when it comes to Monster Hunter Six. Thing is that Monster Hunter Six, I have no idea what it's going to be like. Nobody has. Uh, and making guide, you never know how long it's going to take. Okay. Um, which is the next topic actually? Please, please, oh my God, please, be patient. Okay. Researching weapons takes an immense amount of time, okay? The time it took to make the hunting horn guide, which is one of the small guides that I made, that took six weeks in total, okay? Basically, when Rise came out, I played hunting horn. I said, okay, I'm not gonna touch hammer this time, okay? Don't touch the hammer. You've mained hammer for 10 years now. Play something else just once. So I, so I played uh, the long hammer, which is called hunting horn, apparently. Um, and so I, I got a lot of uh, got a lot of experience with that. And then after that, it took four weeks. Uh, sorry, it took. Uh, oh, God, wait, I made a mistake here. It actually took two weeks of researching actively the hunting horn for precise uh, thingies. Right. And then another week to make the hunting horn guide. Now for the uh, for the uh, heavy bowling guide, which has a lot of views at this point, which I'm very proud of actually. Honestly, I'm more surprised than proud of it. Uh, the uh, the heavy bowling guide that took six weeks to make, four weeks of active research of trying to figure out what the hell is going on with that weapon, and uh, two weeks of actively, you know, like let's say not actively, it's not like a full two weeks, but two weeks of then editing the video and making sure that everything is paced right and. You know, that uh, you actually get my point that I'm trying to make. So, uh, in total, the most time uh, for the weapon guides that is just lost is just researching the weapons. That's the hardest part. Because, like, Monster Hunter is not like, oh, yeah, we know exactly. Here's, here's a sheet of paper. Here's a PDF, okay, that explains everything and every thought that uh, Capcom has put into these weapons. Like, we don't have that. And it's also not necessary because that's the beauty of it, is that whoever makes a whoever makes a Monster Hunter weapon guide, you're gonna have like that person is going to have their own view on it, and nothing really, it, you know, there there is some objectivity to it, but generally it's much much more subjective. So what is going to be teach, for example, is a huge topic. What is the general theme of the guide? Uh, what is actually a guide about? You know, a weapon not necessarily is about one full guide for just one weapon it could also be just a style for one weapon right so that's all there there's all this jazz to it so please be patient the research takes a long ass time okay now what else can i say about that so next point future guides will be in a similar fashion to the heart piercing lance guide now why the lance guide and not another guide here's the thing so the the hunting horn guide that was just okay let's make a compressed guide kind of like that was the thought about it let's make a compressed guide i'm tired of seeing all these 
all these guides not giving me what I actually want to know and uh, all this confusion. Like, I don't want that. Let me just try something. Just make a make a short guide. Short, don't quote me on that. Make a guide that uh, sums up the most important parts of it that actually gives you some insight. And because I feel like it, just latch on to, latch out to some people, right? Because, you know, people, people we have really stupid back then. They still do, probably. So, uh, at that point, I'm giving you a little bit of history there to work up to the lands guide and why it's going to define uh, the next uh, the next guides uh, for weapons is that um, <clears throat> from the looking at looking at the uh, looking at the hunting horn guide back then, I was like, do I really want to be the person who just s slaps other people's necks? And is a little bit of a of a bitch about it, right? <laughs> do I really want to be that guy that guy that teaches the weapons in this kind of way? And I was like, I don't want to really do that. It's not really me, right? It is fun for entertainment, but I don't want to do it. Like maybe for me, I do it, but uh, not for uh, not actively. That's not that's not who I am. It's not like representing me. You know, I, I am a person who who likes goofing around and putting in some really bad jokes, but uh, it's not it's not about you know smacking other people okay it's not what it is about so i was like okay what can i do and then i was like okay which weapon do i want to cover next and that was the heavy bowgun and the heavy bowgun guide teached me how complicated it really can be to figure out what the hell is going on with the weapon and how deep the rabbit hole of just one weapon goes heavy bowgun is such an insanely deep weapon that uh, basically the guide that you see half of the script i completely cut out i completely cut just cut out because i was like you know what this is too much information nobody really is gonna care about that that is stuff that you're only gonna care about if you really really want to get into the weapon okay so i'm covering just the entrance of the heavy bowgun there in in that video like let's say the entrance in the, the middle part of it and it the, the heavy bowgun guy showed me okay People, people are probably not going to like what I'm saying about the Heavy Bogan. How can I make them realize that the Heavy Bogan is actually not just the cheese gun, okay? Maybe it is something um, much more in-depth than uh, whatsoever. So what, how, can I, how can I deliver on that, right? And so I, I had to come up with an entirely new technique on, on getting my point across. Oh, excuse me, I'm touching the mic here. Uh, I had to come up with an entirely new technique on how to communicate what I wanted to say and how to bring that across and bring that passion also across uh, about how cool this weapon actually is. And, you know, using different parts of it, explaining something about game design and, you know, like mechanical design and why, for example, the charge is actually really good and not that not as bad as you might believe it is or how, how people portray it to be. So and that is that is where I you know that's where through the heavy bogan guide I figured out okay the all these new the, all these new techniques um, but they weren't refined at that point and that is where the the hard piercing lands guide comes in uh, I got a lot of feedback for for the the hunting horn guide well, actually not that much but I got a lot of feedback on the heavy bogan guide for example the titles nobody can read them I get it okay I, I totally get it you can't read them. I absolutely understand. Uh, I, I tried to do something very, very style, style, stylized, and I forgot about that. People actually need to understand the information that is being put there, right? So uh, I totally get that, and I, I read through basically all comments that I've had, uh, and tried to find the bad things that people say that I can fix, right? Because I, I, I do am a perfectionist, right? Uh, so. Of course, I fixed that in the. Uh, I fixed a lot of these things in the uh, hard piercing lands guide, and that is where I reached a point where I said, "Okay, you know what? That hard piercing lands guide, man, that that is good." Okay, Vilithos, whatever the hell you did there, you did a great job at it. So I really liked that video. Okay, um, and the the, the heavy bogan uh, guide too. But for me, as somebody who wants to make more uh, Monster Hunter weapon guides, or generally Monster Hunter, we uh, Monster Hunter uh, videos, um, it really showed me that these techniques, if I refine them just a little bit better, if I just fine-tune it, right, then uh, 
it is even greater like these videos are just absolutely just amazing they're just they're they, they're not if, if you like the videos that is that's absolutely great okay i don't i don't require i don't require you to like the videos but you know i i do want to make videos that i like myself you know <laughs> that's like the that's like the least thing i can do that i make videos that I like myself and just I look back at them and be like, oh, yeah, it was, it was awesome. I love this video. And that's the case with the Heart Piercing Lands Guide. It's not perfect, but the Heart Piercing Lands Guide is defining for my YouTube channel, okay? This is, if you look at the Heart Piercing Lands Guide, it will show you the type of videos that I want to make uh, in the future when it comes to Monster Hunter Weapon Guides. And I hope you're looking forward for that. Okay. Now... Making these type of videos is not as easy as I would like to portray, okay? I don't want to be like, oh, it's so hard, oh my god, it's not It's not that hard, but it's also not easy, okay? <laughs> it's quite complicated to put this all down on paper, to write the script, to not make mistakes, to not make grand mistakes, like, I don't know, like the, whatever, whatever it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, cover things that actually are still in game and not something that is already patched on. It's it's insane. It's absolutely insane. Um, so here's the thing. Overall, my YouTube channel, Villathos, okay, and me, I I I have a huge passion for Monster Hunter, but okay, listen carefully. Listen, are you listening? I have a huge passion for Monster Hunter. But I also have a huge passion for a lot of other things. Okay? A lot of other things. There are so many different things that I want to do. There are so many different fields of interest that I have. It's not only Monster Hunter. Okay? And I do want you to realize that. Uh, if there is other content coming out that is not related to Monster Hunter, you don't have to watch it. Okay? But... If you see me posting a Monster Hunter guide and you subscribe to my channel for Monster Hunter guides, okay, or for Monster Hunter content, then, uh, especially the guides, okay, if, basically, if you see me posting a Monster Hunter guide, okay, then know that I'm trying my best to make these Monster Hunter weapon guides or Monster Hunter guides in general worth your time. Okay, like there, there's. I, I know that there's a lot of things that you probably don't care about uh, that uh, I already posted, right? Uh, for example, like you know, the the Witch Twelve Manor Gast update video. Like, why should you care about that, right? It's not re related to Monster Hunter, right? Right? Why should you watch that? Uh, but like, if you do see something Monster Hunter related, I do am trying to make it worth your time. Okay, that's all I want you to realize that it's not just Monster Hunter. But if you see the one thing that you came for when it comes to the Monster Hunter guides, I tried. Okay, I did. I tried. If it doesn't catch you, it doesn't catch you. It is what it is. Okay, so that's about it. Thank you very much so far. So that is probably the, the, the biggest segment so far. Uh, I'm now going to get through a lot all the other topics. They're going to be much shorter, but this is probably the biggest question that people had. Um... I do hope that you're going to listen to the rest of the rambling that I have to that, that I have on my mind right now. So let's continue. Here it is. I am going to. <laughs> I'm starting a show, basically, like a live stream show that is absolutely not of a high quality show. It is going to be called Monster Hunter Huntology. And now, what now? What the hell is this, right? What what is that new content? Oh my god, Velithos, what the hell are you talking about? Now you, you tell us, oh no, your focus is not the Monster Hunter guys, but now you're saying you, you're putting out Monster Hunter, a uh, hauntology. Oh god, it's such such a so, so confusing, isn't it? Well, okay. So, generally, as I already said, and this ties directly into the first point that I talked about, the first topic I talked about, which is, will there be more Monster Hunter weapon guides? So, as I said, the biggest issue with making these weapon guides is researching the weapons, okay? Researching things in general, okay? And um, here's why. It just takes so much time, and if I'm busy researching weapons, I cannot put out any other content. 
if I put my mind on something, I really put my mind on something, and uh, I can't, I can't, you know, multitask this stuff. I can't, I can't research a weapon, and while I research the weapon, I make the video. It's not how it works, right? So uh, I figured that as an, as a, just a little bit of giving you just a bunch of content that is also tied to uh, Monster and Weapon Guides is basically a live stream where I'm literally just playing Monster Hunter and researching the weapons. So the whole point, okay, this is a stream that has a point, okay, the whole point of Monster Hunter Hauntology, the show, the live stream, is to, if I'm live streaming Hauntology, I am researching something inside Monster Hunter. It could be a weapon, it could be anything really, but in the at, at the end of the day, Hauntology is something that will end in a new Monster Hunter related video, okay? So uh, now what does it mean for you? Now the cool thing about Hauntology is that you can basically contribute to making, to, to me making Monster Hunter uh, weapon guides, okay? So basically, if you help me uh, in, if, if I'm live with Hauntology, um, and you, you come into the chat and you help me out, for, you help me figure stuff out, you're just helping me experiment stuff, you know, talking about whatsoever. Maybe I found a mistake, or I did a mistake or something, you're correcting me, whatsoever, whatever it is, right? Um, that is going to go directly, it's going to cut the time for me to research weapons down immensely. And getting help from the community to put uh, together cool, uh, cool guides. Uh, you know, it's 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 such a such a time saver. So it's it's not only just some content for you. It's also a good time to you know uh, talk about the weapons uh, and, and philosophize about mechanics and whatsoever to try things out to see what works, what not work, like what doesn't work. And at the end of the day, you're gonna get a video out of it. So that is what hauntology is all about. Or well, that is the point of hauntology. Now, I've put together a very a specific definition for you when it comes to hauntology, which is the following. So what does hauntology mean? The word hauntology is a fusion of the words hunt and ontology. Hunt refers to the act of pursuing and tracking down creatures, while ontology pertains to the branch of philosophy that deals with the nature of existence or being. By combining these two words into one, ontology conveys the concept of studying and understanding the nature and existence of creatures in the Monster Hunter universe through hunting and exploration, to discover your own unique way to hunt, study, and survive. Okay, if this isn't good enough as a definition for what ontology is all about, then I don't know what Okay, I do not know what else to tell you. Okay, we, I'm all in for the passion of telling you that you should play your own way. You should find your own play style and whatsoever and do that. Like, not like damage numbers, they they are like, if they get big, I mean, great, they're bigger now, great, right? But a guy who can, a guy who can just do some crazy shit with a weapon, that is, that is such, so satisfying to watch, right? And it's, it also feels just good. And that's basically what it's about. Finding your own, finding your own hunting style, finding your, finding you know the, the philosophy of what how you are supposed to hunt. Like what what is the point of you hunting, right? Like why should you hunt? Whatever. All these questions. I think it's very fascinating to talk about, and um, to generally just make content about it. You know, you could make, you could even make content about ontology. Who knows? So uh, yeah, we have enough stuff to talk about and philosophize about in ontology. So basically. If I'm live with Hauntology, we can talk all of, all jazz about Monster Hunter, okay? Okay, now, this whole thing, I mean, look at this. Look at look at this logo. I made this logo. It's kind of cool, right? But here's, here's the thing. Maybe you haven't realized. I just want to make sure you know. This looks really official, doesn't it? Well, you know, as, as I'm... You know, I am a graphic designer. I do like uh, putting out cool visuals and I do want things to look professional at least a little bit. Uh, I need to put a big disclaimer here. Hauntology is entirely fan-made. It's not affiliated. It's not licensed. It has nothing to do 
with like official Monster Hunter uh, stuff, okay? Like not with the Monster Hunter team, it's not endorsed by them. Uh, it has nothing to do with Capcom, like Capcom is not supporting me, I'm not getting paid to do uh, to do Hauntology in whatsoever. It really is only like, it's called Monster Hunter Hauntology because it is the Hauntology of Monster Hunter, okay? That is why it's called like that. Uh, so I, I just want to make sure that uh, you know that I, I do not claim anything when it comes to Monster Hunter. This is the, like, <laughs> not at all. I don't want to get into trouble here. I really just want to put out some cool content and talk about Monster Hunter. Okay, that's about it. You know, that's really it. Um, so yeah, I have to put this. I have to have to put this disclaimer here. I don't want this to to go around and cause confusion because it is not officially affiliated with. The Monster Hunter team, the Monster Hunter franchise, or anybody, you know, that is that has the license for Monster Hunter, okay, whatsoever. I hope that is clear enough. Okay, now, big question is, when, where will it be streamed? Okay, so, Hauntology will be broadcasted to YouTube slash Lithos, and it will be uh, broadcasted to twitch.tv slash Willithos, okay? It's going to be a dual stream. I don't know how confusing that's going to be. If there if, if there's going to be technical issues, uh, we have to resolve them in some sort of way. I have to look into this. Uh, hopefully not. I tested I tested uh, a little bit uh, with the dual streaming. So uh, you can, it doesn't matter which platform you're on, really. Uh, you know, these are the two the biggest ones when it comes to gaming and whatsoever. You know, uh, just, just go around. Uh, Go on whichever platform you prefer uh, more and uh, come hang around. Now, when it comes to the times of uh, Monster Hunter Hauntology uh, or the schedule, I sadly, I cannot, I cannot tell you. That's, that's the bad thing. Like, I, I really hate, I really hate telling you, oh, just look into your feed and see if I'm gonna, uh, if I'm gonna stream Hauntology or not. But the thing is just that, uh, my working schedule, uh, you know, in real life, it is so random that I have no idea when I can and cannot stream. Like it's it's really really bad. So it's really very it's it's very spontaneous. I'm going to I'm going to try to announce uh, the ones where I'm very sure that I can stream it. But generally, I'm just you know I'm just gonna go live on YouTube with uh, you. If you're gonna see this this the thumbnail of Hauntology, then I'm gonna be live doing Hauntology. Okay. Uh, the same on Twitch, okay. So make sure to uh, make sure to uh, follow me on Twitch uh, and on YouTube if you haven't, okay. If you want to be part of Hauntology and contribute to uh, the research of the Monster Hunter universe and stuff there, the yeah, that's pretty much it. So keep an eye on that. Now let's move on. There's there's a little bit more, okay. <sighs> okay. So this is a part where it's a little bit, it's really just about me, okay? This is not just about Monster Hunter anymore, this is about me. So, I am Vilithos, okay? So this is my new name. That's generally what you need to know. The little bit longer version is that the name, the names that I've had, they were very confusing. They had too many syllables, very long. People couldn't decide which syllable they want to shorten down or which syllables they want to put together in order to call me a short name. And everybody used a different one. So I had a lot of different names that people affiliated with me. But at the end of the day, people were like, oh man, uh, is this dude actually this dude? Is this dude this dude? Wait, is this his name actually him or not? I was like, it's really dumb to do that. Especially for me who wants to, uh, to you know... You, you, Everybody wants to take credit for what they have created, right? So if I want to, if I if I'm making a video or if I'm putting out content, I put my name down there, and people be like, "Wait, hold up, wait, but but here you're called something else. That's not you, right?" It's like, "No, that's me." It's like, "Are you sure?" Because I don't remember you having that name. You know, it's it's very confusing. So in total, and because this is this is uh, due to me getting called uh, Billy. Uh, in the role-playing community, uh, sorry, in the role-playing culture of F14, mainly on Europe, uh, I came up with a new name that uses Vili uh, in, in the first uh, segment of the name, okay? So, 
it is it was very difficult to make this name um i it, it is a name that represents me uh like th this name coming up with this name there there are so many things that had to go into this name like for example like just a few just to name a few it, it has to represent my fictional universe that i that i love and adore and i'm working on that i haven't shared much of okay um it also has a lot of story elements from that universe that are very important in my name, right? It has to be represented in my name. Then also, artistically, it needs to it needs to sound good to my ears, okay? I, I, I like things that sound good. Uh, you know, there, there's just... It also has to have a certain meaning. Like all, this, all this meaning stuff, right? Only, of course, only I know the meanings of a lot of these things. You don't know, but... Uh, you know, it's just it was a huge list of things um, on, that that had to go into a new name. That I actually sat down and I was like, "Man, okay, what the hell am I gonna do now? I'm sitting here for I, I, I sat down for four days to figure out a new name that I won't change in the future. Okay, that I'm just going to stick with, and it was incredibly hard to come up with, but I think it was absolutely worth the time." Uh, I, I, I'm very proud of coming up with a name like that. Uh, I think like, you probably you probably don't care, but from from you know me being able to name myself in front of people and say that I am Valithos, okay? Like it, it it's really really it gives me a lot of confidence because uh, at the same time. If you are confident in saying your name, right, and you, then you you know who you are. Uh, you like, you're confident in portraying yourself to other people, or like you, portraying, I don't know, I don't know how to put it, okay, I don't know how to put it, let's just say this, like, having this name, it marks a new chapter in my life as uh, an artist, okay, which is something that I don't say lightly, okay, uh, so I, I will not change this name in the future, so if you, if you should ever talk about my videos, even the past ones, where it's like, uh, like you know, I have I have like the little Gurren Lagan uh, ad break uh, in in the Heavy Bogan Guide. It says genuine in June down there. It would be great if you could just uh, if if you see this video, inform people that you know Villathos back then he was called genuine in June. Now he's now generally his videos you just call you just call him Villathos. Okay, uh, that's about it. Okay, so now what else comes with that? I told you now that uh, in my in my new life as an artist, oh my god, so dramatic. Um, so it's it's complicated. Okay, there's so many things, there's so many things I'm doing, so many so many fields that I'm passionate about. Like when it comes to art, like I do, I, I do voiceover. Okay, I'm a graphic designer. I actually like drawing if I don't get completely. Uh, mad at my sheet of paper that is empty right um there are a lot there are a lot, of, lot a lot of things like i also do a story writing i you know in, in role play role playing in final fantasy 14 for example that is basically just creative writing so that's all that kind of jazz uh and uh the thing is that it puts me in a place where i don't know what to do uh when it comes to career i don't know what to do because they, i have so many different interests i like them all equally at the end of the day all I really want to do is I, I want to tell stories through great visuals and um, basically uh, want to rip your heart out and you fucking love it, right? That's kind of like what I want to do. Uh, and at, at some point, you know, in my life, I really just want to make video games. That's something that I'm really passionate about. I always wanted to make video games, so that's how it is. Um, and, you know, but it's it's the thing is like I'm limited in all of that, okay? I'm very limited in all of that. Which means, uh, real life says, well, if you want to survive in, so in society, you have to have this thing called money. Now, here's the thing: I, I, I'm, I'm not here to try to convince you that. Oh hell yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna grab your body. I'm gonna juice all the money out of you. It's not gonna happen, okay? I, I read. I, I have, a, I have a huge, I have huge respect when it comes to topics about money, okay? Generally, I don't have much money. Okay, I just I'm just working on stuff, and I also I always had to rip uh rip my fucking arm out to uh to be able to do stuff. Okay, basically I have to work to to, to get what I want, and 
one thing that I would really like to do is I would just like to establish myself as some sort of an artist uh, and actually provide people with a service and give them stuff. All right. So and to, here's the thing. So to, I basically need a job and I need a portfolio. I do a lot of things. So I figured the the best way or the, the, the least the least I could do is to open a coffee page and um, basically uh, offer my services, work on stuff uh, on the side, and then make a portfolio out of that to, you know, kind of like uh, use that later to make a portfolio. So what basically what you get is you, you pay for something, you get hopefully good quality, uh, and I'm not messing up your order or something like that, uh, or messing up your commission. And in return, I get uh, just a little bit of money uh, so I can, you know, get through the day a little bit easier. <laughs> as, as weird as this sounds. Uh, and uh, actually just, uh, you know, have something from my portfolio that I can present to other people. And I'm, I'm very open about this. Like, I, you know, like, I'm not very picky. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know, just drain your wallet or whatever i really don't care about that like i, I really don't want to do that because i i you know i myself i know exactly how it feels like to to have no money right so uh yeah so generally if if you want to support me and i'm going to advertise this in the future more uh which is my coffee page if you want to support me go to coffee you can use your brain there don't waste your money uh you can go there and support me with uh, with a month with a monthly uh, donation or with a normal doma donation. If if you don't want that, if you want to get something back from your money, then of course you can. Uh, if I have the commissions open, you can go and commission me for uh, whatever I'm providing there. So, yeah, I hope you're looking forward to that. Just keep in mind, this is the plan for the future: doing commissions. <laughs> I've never done commissions before. I think once, but they weren't really paid. Uh, so uh, I'm new to this entire jazz. Okay, I'm completely new to this. Uh, if I if I mess something up, then I hope you uh, you can provide me with some good feedback, and I can so I can figure out how to uh, do it better. Okay, so that's it about the coffee page. All right, continuing. Something about being an artist. Okay, let's keep this short. God, I have to stop saying that. <laughs> it's already already forty almost forty minutes. So here's the thing. So me calling myself an artist, that was something very hard to do. Okay. I had to overcome myself uh, and call me something that gave me a lot of comfort. Okay. Basically what I did was I stood away from calling myself an artist, which allowed me to avoid uh, having to get proficient at art. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like basically like, Oh yeah, you know. Uh, imagine I don't know what I don't know what to say. Imagine you're you're a really really good you're you are a really really good uh, chess player, right? Everybody knows you're you're insane. You, you're 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 a pretty good chess player, okay? But you don't call yourself a chess player, even though you are you regularly play chess, right? So uh, that's basically it. So it's kind of like I, what do you mean? I'm not a chess player. I sometimes just play chess, but I'm not a, I'm not a chess player. Don't call me that. I was like, yeah, has, has the most wins of all players in the club, right? I was like, look, you're a chess player, okay? If you live in denial, you only do that to not having the need to perform to a certain point where people are like looking at you. Like, yeah, that, I don't know how to put it. Basically, me looking at the word, me calling myself an artist made me... It kind of put me, uh, it put me on pressure. I was like, I have a certain image in my mind when it comes to the word artist, and I want to live up to that that word, to what it means to be an artist. Uh, and because that image was there, I just, you know, I just was like, I can't, I can't do that. It's, it's, I'm, I'm not even capable of reaching close to that. How, how am I supposed to do that? Uh, so I stood away from calling myself an artist because of that. Uh, sorry, because. Uh, it, it kind of like gave me comfort that I well, I, I, I if I don't call, if I don't call myself an artist, I don't need to to practice all this stuff, right? <laughs> Which is really really stupid. So that's the, that's the, that's the the biggest part of the whole thing. Um, so 
But the thing is, like, admitting that to myself, that I am, in fact, an artist, uh, that makes me look at things uh, very differently. So, as I already said, like, I really just want to tell stories, right? I, I have a lot of stuff on my, I have my, enti I have my entire fictional universe in my brain that I haven't told about anything yet. Uh, and I, I want to tell about this stuff, like, with cool visuals, right? And maybe make video games out of it. Like, not maybe, but I really want to make video games, uh, 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 you know, about it. Like, I have so much to tell. I don't even, you know, I, I, I know exactly what I want and what I, what I uh, want to share and what not, right? Um, but all of that, all of these gigantic goals, uh, they're not going to happen without practice. So, without practice... I'm never going to be able to achieve what I actually want to achieve. And that is why, yeah, I'm, I'm calling myself an artist now. And that is also why there's a new type of content. And that goes into the new content, which uh, for now is just called Training Arc. So right now, I still lack a lot of, uh, a lot of fundamentals, especially when it comes to drawing, right? A lot of practice that I need to do in order to reach a comfortable point where I can, you know, start making videos that actually have drawings in them, like, like very you know, storytelling in the way that I, that I actually want to actually want to do it, like a very minor kind of way. Um, so I'm starting to stream on Twitch uh, and call the stream Training Arc. And the Training Arc stream is really just me uh, where I'm just going to hang out and I'm just gonna improve on my art fundamentals. I'm just gonna practice, right? I'm also going to try to get better at my voiceovers, right? Because it's just something that I really find enjoyment in, right? voiceovers, right? Like drawing, maybe not that much because right now it's still a little bit like, oh my God, I, don't, I, hate, I hate touching the paper. God damn it. The paper make, makes me mad. God damn it. Just, it's like it's like you just want to draw a circle and it's just, it's a triangle. Like, what what happened there? Like how did it end up as a triangle? I'm joking, of course. It's not that bad. So training arc is gonna be me practicing a lot of stuff, just getting better at that, and just being silent and just doing stuff. Uh, and on the other hand, uh, I'm just gonna play a bunch of the video games that are in my backlog and just philosophizing about a bunch of topics. Uh, I figured that uh, some people actually like what I say or that they, they they like discussing things with me I think I, I don't know why okay apparently that's the thing uh, I, I appreciate it uh, I, I'm, I'm aware okay uh, you know it's just if people find it entertaining then feel free to join in now what's important about training arc is that it's only going to be uh, uh, live on, it's only going to be broadcasted on twitch.tv slash villathos and I do that because I do not want to basically spam your uh, your YouTube feed. I don't want to spam my channel uh, with uh, content that is really just me just doing some very. I'm not even trying to entertain you. Okay, I want to I want to give you at least a certain amount of quality, uh, and uh, ontology at least has a point. You know why you go in there, uh, but uh, training arc is really really random. That's really just you hang out with me and just I don't know you coexist with me <laughs> so yeah that's about it okay now this is the point we're done okay so we're done like i talked i talked for 43 minutes if if you're done if you can't listen to my rambling anymore that is the point where you can just leave okay if you still want me to talk if you still want to listen to my rambling uh much much longer then uh Here's the segment where I'm just going to ramble about a bunch of stuff, okay? So, here we are. Let's begin with a little bit of nostalgia. Now, what is the nostalgia? The nostalgia is... Okay, listen. I've reached 999 subs. A little bit more than that, okay? Actually, something with 1050, I think it is, at the making of this video. And, uh... Listen, I'm on YouTube since 2007, okay, 2007, right now we have, uh, we have July 2023, this is absolutely nuts, okay, this is far back in time, okay, so what I'm trying to say here is that back in the day, 
If you reached 1000 subscribers in any shape or form, you did something great, okay? You, you really put your mind on this stuff. You really did something there. Maybe you were just lucky, you know, we had, there were the, those cases. But, you know, people generally subscribe to, people generally subscribe to, uh, to channels that had something going on that was interesting. And the thing is, the first time I ever put uh, a microphone to my mouth and recorded my own voice with a video game, that was in 2009. Okay, 2009. And in 2009, I was doing just a bunch of random stupid gaming stuff, okay? I just tested a bunch of stuff, and just did whatever, I did what everybody else did, okay? I was nothing special. Uh, but in 2011, I believe, I'm not sure, it could actually be a little bit earlier, I started to make Monster Hunter guides. Guides about Monster Hunter monsters and also Monster Hunter weapon guides, okay? I made them about Monster Hunter uh, Part of the Third and Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. And the crazy part about that is that back in the day when I did these, when I did these guides, I also had pretty cool visuals. Like at the time, for my skill level, as like to making like yeah, graphics, uh, gra graphic like visual stuff for videos, or just generally graphics, um, or a graphic design, uh, for my skill level, that was that was pretty impressive. So even though what the hell I rambled in those videos was absolutely just fucking stupid, okay? Like, oh my god, so, some of these things were just so bad that I said it, that just it didn't make any sense. Not like, like bad in like profanity or whatever, you know. Or some, something immature. It's just that, just factually wrong. It's like, oh yeah, uh, it's 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 better to use the bow on Rathalos because the Rathalos uh, flies around all the time. It's like, well, you know, but you also can. I mean, that's the thing. Like I said, like I said things like you should play bow because bow helps you with flying wyverns to fly around a lot. But if you don't want to play bow. You can use, uh, um, you know, flash, uh, flash bombs or whatever. You know, I, I just told a bunch of stuff. But at, at some point, like, maybe it's a minor thing, right? It's not that important. But it, you know, there were a lot of things in there where it was basically just uh, I'm guessing if it's right or wrong. Okay, it's not a fact, for example, that one of the, like, you know, that, you know, for example, let's say let's say everybody knows how the long story basically works, like on a, on a fundamental level. Basically, you have you have the spirit gauge, and uh, if you have full spirit gauge, you can do an, an R1 combo or the spirit gauge combo. And if you hit the last slash, you're gonna get a, a damage buff, right? It could it could be something like, oh yeah, if you have the if you have the white uh, 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 spirit gauge buff on the long sword, you actually lose sharpness less. Like yeah, that's like, well, I don't know if that is true. <laughs> it's like that's just guessing, okay? Um, but you know, it's not a fact. That's so. This is kind of a jazz that I where I did mistakes, but it's it's been a long while, and I I've considered uh, since 2011 to 2013, I guess where I made Monster Hunter videos, uh, and even after that, I always considered making a Monster Hunter videos. And when Monster Hunter World was released, I actually got myself a capture card because I wanted to make videos about Monster Hunter World. But I for some reason I just was like. I got. I, I was so. I was so tired of, of everything back then. Like just generally, that I was like, man, I'm not. I don't want to deal with this kind of stuff. I mean, it's cool that it works, and I, I can now, you know, record stuff in uh, from my PS4. Oh god, I should. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't eat right now. <laughs> it's like the worst part. I was like, oh man, I really want something sweet right now. So I had like this. Uh, oh god, I don't, mochis. Like you know, I had these mochis for my birthday. Uh. So I don't have, it's just it's just yeah i always considered making videos for monster hunter and uh, i always had a huge interest for monster hunter so for me it is huge nostalgia that because back then the guys that i make made back then they got it like people really liked them and there's it's very likely that people that now watch this watch this uh, watch my guides that some some of the people that subscribe of all the 200 subs that i had for such a long time that uh they actually remember my first monster hunter guides it's crazy it might like potentially but that's that's quite the nostalgia for me because this is such a long time ago and now monster hunter the content that back then i thought was just it's not gonna work out i mean it's fun to produce 
but it's just oh you know and now i'm looking at these videos and i'm like well it's crazy that two guys that i made have gained me so many subscribers that is that's absolutely stupid okay just just honestly like, straight up i'm not saying I'm not, look look okay realistically having a thousand subscribers on youtube i practically do not exist okay that is the reality of it but it is still impressive as a channel that had 200 subscribers and no viewership whatsoever or no views whatsoever for very 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 long 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 time to just with with three videos basically two because i don't count the hunt the hunting home guide anymore uh to to gain that much subscribers okay because at, at you have to think like this like these videos they still in the in the grand in the grand scheme right of videos the grand sea of videos they still have to be discovered and have to be watched and people then watch it and they still have to subscribe so that is the you know if you subscribe because of these videos that's like that's like you're you're a percentage of a percentage of a percentage and that's crazy to me okay so uh, what i'm saying is I, I appreciate it so this is still a little bit of nostalgia that i had in mind all right so we have a little bit of time left. It's going to be one hour rounded. Okay. Um, let's talk about a little bit of Monster Hunter right now. And you're probably going to like that. I say this. I'm, right now at the making of this video, I'm getting back into getting absolutely hooked on Monster Hunter. Oh my God, am I hooked on Monster Hunter again. It is crazy. Like right now, the time for, for Monster Hunter is huge. Like, maybe you are one of the people who's, like, very upset that, oh, Sunbreak is not getting any updates anymore. Monster Hunter 6 is probably, gonna, like, I don't know, like, maybe you're, maybe you're a doomer or whatever. I don't know what you are. Maybe you're very, very uh, negative about the future of Monster Hunter. You're like, oh, man, it's going to take an eternity until Monster Hunter is that. Listen, okay? Right now, we have so many Monster Hunter games that you can go to and play just, just out of the nothing okay you can just here's the thing if you if you came if, let's say you're one of the one of the people who only played monster the world okay you didn't touch monster Hunter rise listen if you if you really need if you really have the itch to play monster Hunter games if you just stick to world the people who make monster Hunter world mods mods they they put out quests almost regularly as far as i heard i could be wrong on this one but you know, there's just always quests that you can do. There's always mods that you can check out. There's something to do in Monster Hunter World all the time. Then, if you if you are not stuck in the Monster Hunter World bubble, like, man, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is mechanically one of the best Monster Hunter games ever made. It is crazy what you can do in this game. You can do so much stuff. There's that you have a grind. There's so many sets you can do. Each weapon can be mastered in fucking a hundred different ways. It's insane what you can do in Sunbreak. So if you have you have that for mechanically pleasing gameplay, you know, and for the absolute speed grind. And if, if you if you if you don't want to do that, you know, you can always go back and, Mon and Monster Hunter Generations is going to be your your big content uh, bomb that you can pick up and play. And actually, I actually just uh, recently just gone back into the game it was like you know what i'm just gonna play a little bit of greatsword now in, in generations ultimate because I'm, I'm kind of interested in greatsword uh, again right uh just just for some reasons just, just for the simplicity of the greatsword so i'm playing a little bit of generations ultimate from time to time and just help some people out in quests randomly such as in some random ass lobbies like it's almost nobody online but you know it is what it is uh, and if, if it's not that you also have uh like people are resurrecting older monster hunter games that we never had access to god damn like monster hunter tries online mode is back which is fan made like how much passion went into this is crazy it, it, they, they're planning to make a uh, new custom uh event quests in monster hunter try uh it, it absolutely crazy you can you can just play pick that up and play that and you could you could even play it on your phone because like the the processing power or like the, the computing power whatever however it's called right it's not that much required to to run a monster Hunter try and it's going even more crazy because now monster Hunter frontier is on the horizon as well just just like a game that we we couldn't put our hands on for such an insanely long time is now resurrected as like in, in private servers and actually i'm actually 
extremely hooked on Monster Hunter Frontier right now. I've played so much Frontier in the past uh, five days. Like, I, it, it actually actually postponed uh, making this video <laughs> because I was that hooked on it. So it, it's it's incredibly great. Like Frontier, it's my, it might be it's very confusing. Uh, a lot of things very weird, <laughs> but it's still a Monster Hunter game. That is so, so cool. It's so so cool. So we can check that out as well. So like we're not running out of Monster Hunter stuff for the next for the next two years. So so even if Capcom says, or even if the if the Monster Hunter team says, yeah, you know what, we're gonna take our time with Monster Hunter Six. Okay, it's gonna take two 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 more years until we announce that it's going to maybe happen. You're set on Monster Hunter. There's there's so much Monster Hunter going on right now. It is absolutely insane. Okay, I don't, let's, let's not let's not talk about Monster Hunter now. Okay, the mobile game. I don't know what that how that's gonna look like, but all right, we got enough Monster Hunter. That's that is what I'm saying, and it should give you a little bit of hope that. Uh, well, I'm I'm currently very interested in Monster Hunter. I'm like, it could it, it's getting back into the very very try hard days of Monster Hunter, which I think, like I I did not expect to come back to be honest. Like I'm getting really really into back into Monster Hunter right now. Uh, it should give you a little bit of hope for new Monster Hunter really related videos or generally just uh, weapon guides. Okay. Okay. Now, a completely different topic, which you probably don't care about, uh, which is, which is role playing. Okay. Uh, role playing. I just want to give you a little bit of a of a disclaimer here, or like just a, just a sentence that helps you understand what role playing is. Role playing is generally creative writing. Okay. The way I do it. So there's there's tabletop role playing, that is like Dungeons and Dragons, where you sit you sit on a digital on a real table with people and you role play your characters uh, with a game master, or uh, you do something like uh, role playing video games, like I do it sometimes. Like right now I'm on a break, uh, I do it in Final Fantasy XIV, uh, and there it's much more uh, creative writing, right? It's kind it's really cool because. Uh, well, as a as somebody like like somebody like me, I can basically come up with a bunch of uh, stories, uh, make characters out of it, make uh, places out of it, make events out of it. And that's that's really really fun. It's, it's really really fun to do uh, because like the culture uh, of role playing in Final Final Fantasy XIV, for example, is very passionate and people really like role playing uh, a lot. Uh, so I'm in that as well, and I just want to make sure that you know that uh you know you 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 can kind of like expect me to cover a, something role play related on my youtube channel as well so I, you don't have to click on it i don't really care if it doesn't li listen if it if it doesn't grab your attention then don't bother watching it okay uh but uh role playing is gonna be a, i have a huge interest for role playing so uh that is going to be a topic on my channel as well i just want to make sure that you know that uh, now, the last thing that is here to say is uh, my backlog, okay? My backlog of video games. So there is there are so many video games out there that uh, I've never played, that uh, I really wanted to play, that, that are, uh, you know, it's, that I just wanted to test out, give it a try. And uh, I will definitely play them. Uh, and until then, I'm not going to hopefully not buy anything else. Okay, I just want to work through my backlog and clear that that up. Uh, so for the hauntology, uh, oh god, not free hauntology. Uh, for the um, oh, what's it called? Oh my god, how's it called? Uh, for the training arc stream, uh, I will probably play video games that are inside of my backlog, and uh, I'll just play them until I'm getting, getting tired of it. I don't know if I'm going to complete one of some of these games or not. But there are a lot of games in there that are absolutely that are, that are an absolute must that I have to play. For example, Elden Ring. I haven't played it on release. I really want to play that game. I really need to test it. I really need, I need, really need to give it a try. Uh, then Dark Souls, Dark Souls Three, Dragon's Dogma. Man, I really need to play that game. Uh, then Breath of the Wild, uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I have to. I, I we really, really want to play those. I never really got into Zelda. I'm more of a you know, top-down uh, Zelda guy. Uh, you know these kind of games, uh, and there's there's many many more. Uh, also, Final Fantasy games, Final Fantasy uh, 12, for example, 
Final Fantasy 15 Pocket Edition. <laughs> I don't know why. There's just a bunch of games that I really want to play. And that's going to happen on the on the uh, training arc stream. If I'm not training. Okay. All right. That's about it. Okay. That is the end of the direct. Uh, thank you very much for listening to all my rambling. I, I hope that uh, I could give you a good uh, insight on the entire update. Okay. Or, or just, just clear a lot of things up. Uh, give you a bunch of things that you can look forward to. Um, I'm trying my best. <laughs> things are difficult. Okay. Trying to work through all this all this stuff. And uh, I hope that uh, we're going to have some fun in the future. Okay. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I, I don't have an outro. <laughs> I don't have an outro. Uh, yo. Peace. What up? I mean, peace out. I, I, wait, this is not how you do peace. Peace. <laughs>